Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overstat, and in today's video, we are going to be decluttering these things. These are lotions and body oils and pain relief uh, lotions, a couple of body powders, as well as some hand sanitizers, which I never use because I'm not one of those people. So, um, there's quite a few of these that I know are going in the trash, and since we have a hurricane coming, I figured I better get this done because I wanted my counter space back. This has been set up for like three days now, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it being on the counter, I'm tired of uh, not being able to clean everything down, and I still have to wash all of my makeup brushes. So, I'm decluttering this and then I have uh, bath products to also go through and declutter as well as sun care products. Um, and then I think that'll be everything out of my collection um, unless you guys want me to do like a skincare one. But I'm not really getting rid of my, any of my skincare but I can show you everything that I have if you're interested in that. So let me know and I can record that. So I'm going to move the trash can a little closer. Because I know there's a few and I do have like a Target bag. Down, down here so I can throw anything in there that's recyclable but as far as I know a lot of this stuff is just going to be going in the trash. Now um, I guess we'll start off with oils because this is here. This was something that somebody made me. Uh, this is from Simple, Simply Naturals. She made this for me like a while ago. This came from like a and it's it's very expired and I would keep this bottle because it's cute but because it's got oil in it for the bath it's it's rancid. It's really ew. Then we have this dry oil spray. This is from Relax and Renew. I used to get the Relax and Renew like monthly. They would send you like a card that goes in one of those big three inch binders and then you would get like crystals one month and incense another month and like little bath things here and there. And that's where this came from and I've had it forever. Um, it still smells nice. So there's only a little bit left. I very rarely use oil, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside for right now. And then all of these little glass, these are dram bottles and then half ounce glass jars. These are all oils that I made years ago. This one's an initiation oil. And that actually still smells fine. Let's see what this one's. Lover's Passionate Massage Oil. Oh, that smells like Lang Lang. There's like little herbs and stuff in the bottom from when I, it looks like there's chamomile in here by the look of the herbs in the bottom. And this one's a dry cracked heels serum. The dropper on this was always a pain in the butt. That one doesn't smell quite so good. This one here is a mis miscellaneous oil. There's no label. Oh, that still smells good. Um, and this one here says this one's also initiation oil. And that still smells fine. But just to be on the safe side, because a lot of these I made like a decade ago, I'm going to go ahead and trash all of them. All right. Um, I guess we'll do these and then the hand sanitizers next. And I'm going to move this because that's something I'm keeping. These are like glittery body gels. It's supposed to be like a gel that you spread on your skin that oh, that smells like strawberry. Strawberry scented. I don't think I've ever used these. You can definitely feel the glitter and it's like, uh, I don't know, it kind of feels like a hand sanitizer, but it's got glitter in it. This one is lavender. And so that one's still sealed. Oh yeah, I, I really didn't use those. So I'm going to declutter these and um, if somebody wants to buy them, let me know. I don't even know where I got them. Let's see. Greenbrier International. So I will be decluttering these. I guess I, can, I guess you can't see the entire counter. So uh, I will stick these over here for right now. This is like... This was, I think, a lavender one. Let me see. I think that was lavender. I don't know, it might be grape. It was a hand sanitizer I had. I think this was the rest of it. I ran out of room. This is a two ounce bottle. This one's a four. That smells like hair gel. And then we have the old Melaleuca one and it's like liquid. I don't think, it smells pretty bad too. And then we have this one from Publix that looks brand new. I don't know if I've used it. I'm gonna declutter this. And the other three are bye-bye. Then we have this hand and feet moisturizing foot cream by Kathleen K. It smells okay, but there's only like a little bit left in it, so I'm just gonna oops. Then we have this Planet Spa. This is from Avon. So any of the Avon stuff, I haven't sold Avon since like 2005. So any Avon stuff that you see is gonna be rather old. Oh, that still smells like hazelnut. 
It says African shea butter on it. This stuff is like super, super thick. And then this was the like body butter, whipped body butter. And my hand is still cold feeling. That one doesn't smell quite as nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash that. Uh, one second. Gotta love those robocalls. Not. Okay. Then this one is um, a body butter that I used to make. This is the Zenful one. I haven't used it in a while. This still smells fine. I just, I hated the way, when this came, this gasket was supposed to go around this and it, no matter which way you flip it, it just didn't fit right. So when you go to close the jar, the, it, it doesn't sit perfectly on the rim of the jar. So I ended up pulling these um, from stock. Uh, I had somebody complain that one of them leaked and so I went ahead and pulled it from stock. So those are two I'm keeping. I guess we'll do pain, pain relief creams next. Um, this one, I'm definitely keeping the real-time pain relief. Um, it's got, I don't know, about yay much left in it, which is why it's upside down. I do use that. Um, I used to be a rep for real-time pain relief, and uh, I used to have a vending spot at the local flea market where I sold it, and so um, then they went to, you can't vend it in person or you can't sell it in person anymore. They had to order it online, and uh, I got in trouble for selling it in person, so I'm no longer a rep for them, but this bottle is about half full as well, so I'm keeping that. Then we have the foot cream one. This one um, I had as a tester. I kept a little scoop, and then I would keep this on my counter, and if somebody wanted to try this, I would um, scoop a little out and give it to them on a little spatula. So this is almost like slap full. Still smells fine, um, but I it's mainly for people that have like diabetic neuropathy issues or problems with their feet or swelling in their feet, pain, anything that's ankle and foot related, this is like really good for that. But I don't have issues like that. If I do get swelling in my feet, I just put a little bit of the other, the regular formula on it. This is like a $20 thing. So um, even though it says it expired in 2016, they have to say that because it's a topical analgesic. I'm gonna declutter this. So if somebody's interested in this, um, I will just pay for shipping, just pay for shipping and I will mail it to you. Um, it's still fine. So I'm gonna be getting rid of that, put that over there. This is the roll-on formula. I used to keep this in my purse. It is very effective. It's almost like three quarters of the way full. I love that stuff. This is the uh, Melaleuca version of this stuff, but it has more of a icy hot uh, effect to it. Um, I'm gonna keep this because I do use it. Then we have my the muscle rub that I used to make. It smells not quite as potent as the other ones, but it's just a small little um, ounce size of it, so I'll keep that. The Emu Gold is actually for burns. Uh, it's a first aid antibiotic uh, treatment for like burns and like I use it when I get like road rash or um, sunburns, stuff like that. It's this really weird like snotty yellow let's see if I can... consistency. Oh, hello. So it's a very interesting yellow snot like consistency. As you can see, it's um, a very thick formula. <laughs> But it is like yellow in, in hue, but it works really great on sunburns. And it's got um, some really interesting uh, ingredients in it. So I'm gonna keep that, I should have probably put that in with my, my skin, like sun care type stuff, but oh well. Then we have this Skin Rescue. This is for like um, burns and scars. This is what you're supposed to use. It's got a little thing on it. I was using it on the scars on my legs and it does help with scars as well. Um, I was putting it right here on my hand for the longest time because I have road rash right here, but it, it stays a little bit, it stinks too. Um, and I, that's one thing I didn't like about it, but it, it is effective at like healing like scars faster. It's kind of like in the same family as bio oil, but I just don't like the way it smells. Um, so I'm gonna declutter that. I, I don't know if anybody would even want it. If somebody wants it, let me know. If you want either of the two real-time pain relief products, then I will send them both to you. It works, I just, I don't like the fragrance of it and it's, it's kind of greasy. Um, then we have the therapeutic hand cream. This was the, um, I bought labels for testers. This is actually really nice for people that have arthritis in their hands or that type a lot. I use it especially like, you can see there's a mark on my wrist here. This is even with a memory foam, like mouse pad and you know thing for my keyboard. I still get a lot of wrist pain from typing a lot. So this is what I use that for. Then we have, this is a Bath & Body Works Plumeria Skin Silkening Bath Powder. This is ancient, like ancient. Still smells good, um, but I don't use powder because I have super dry skin. And then we have the Chantilly, this is actually Chantilly Lace, and it is 
broken. Um, I have had this since I was like 10 and like it's, it's really old. And when I was a kid, I used to put those little oil beads in here. So there's several of those running around in here as well. And one of my neighbors gave this to me and she was like 90. So I'm going to be, that's why I've had on it, had it for so long, but it's just rattly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's, it's not something that I will use and keep, uh, because of the fact that it is, I've had it for over 30 years. Um, I really just kept it for sentimental reasons. The body powder, I don't even know how much is in here. Um, if somebody wants it, I will just give it to them. So I'm going to get rid of that. Then we have all these like little purse size things. We have one that is cherry blossom, one that's apple pomegranate. We have this one here. This is from Darjeeling. And then I've got this one here that is avocado. Um, I'll keep all of these little guys because um, they're good for tossing in my purse or keeping by in my bed. Now I'm weird when it comes to body lotions, especially when it comes to fragrances. I love the scent of gardenia. Love it, love it, love it. Just like plumeria. I love plumeria. I also love apple fragrances. Um, and the pomegranate one, I love those kinds of fragrances. This is why I have this. This is from Yves Rocher. I used to buy from that catalog all the time. I don't even know if you can get this off. This is almost like, it still smells like it did when I bought it. It's about three quarters of the way full. I'm going to keep it just because, you know, I'm a pack rat. I have this Equate medicated body lotion. When I have like winter skin that's super, super dry and itchy and flaky and patchy and my legs are burning because it's so dry, that's what I use this with or for. Um, I'm keeping that. There's only like this much of it left, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. This came from jail. This is about half full. This was the lotion that we had in jail and it's like water. Like, it literally is like putting water on your skin. It's very thin and very not, I mean, it's, it's a lotion, but it's like, it's probably the thinnest lotion that I've ever used. And I just did the bottom half of my leg, my knee, and now my foot with that little bloop of lotion. Um, so, I mean, it spreads very well and usually I will mix it with other lotions, especially like this medicated one that's super thick. I'll put a squirt of that in my hand and a bloop of this and it helps this spread a lot easier. So I'm not gonna get rid of it because of the fact that I do mix it with other things and it's okay. This one here is a mixture of several lotions. It smells like it's got this in it. It's got like, I know it's got this in it. I can't remember what else I put in it. I probably ought to just put it on my bed and use it up because it's about right here in the bottle. So I'll go ahead and keep that. Then we have pink grapefruit. Now, if you've watched my perfume declutter, you know that I don't really care for grapefruit fragrances. But this was different because of this. And this is one reason why I still have it. It is like this really pretty like beigey sheen. And it's like, I don't even know if it's going to pick up on camera. It just, it does smell like grapefruit, which I don't dislike the fragrance of grapefruit. It's just not my favorite of the citrus scents. But it gives your skin this like light, sheen of like healthy glow and it gives a little bit of color this is also from bath and body works um there's a maybe like this much of it left so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it to use it up this one's from mel luca this was something i found in a box on the porch and as you can tell it has changed colors and it's quite brown but it still smells like it did when i bought it this is the firming body lotion i didn't notice that this stuff did any firming to be honest but there's only like a quarter of it left so i need to use it up i need to put it in the front of my cabinet and use it every time i shower just to use it up then we have the fragrance that i wish suave would make in a like body spray or a perfume i've owned the shampoo the conditioner the body wash the deodorant in this fragrance. This is called Everlasting Sunshine. This is an amazing fragrance. As you can tell, it's brand new. It's never been open. How about that one? And it smells amazing. It smells like Everlasting Sunshine and it's amazing. It's not as moisturizing as some of the other lotions that I have, but because of the fragrance, I love it. So I'm keeping it. This is my ride or die. This is the, I will use this every day, all day long, over makeup, under makeup, um, by itself. Uh, I will use it even, you can put this on and then get a shower and not have to wear lotion for 48 hours. You can put this on after your shower and not have, and, and shower every 24 hours and not have to worry about putting lotion on 
for 48 hours. This is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Soothing Body Lotion. This stuff needs to be in a pot. It needs to be in a tub. It's like super, 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 like super thick. It is amazing. I have super dry skin. It's always itchy. It's always dry. No matter what time of year it is, this stuff I can use on my face. I can use everywhere on my body. It does not cause my dry skin to burn. And there's a fly in here. Oh, you saw He was on the power cord to the ring light. I had him and then I went to move my hand off the, you know, the cord and he escaped. It's all right, I'm gonna catch you. Anyways, love this stuff. I'm keeping that. I usually, because it's so thick, I mix it with this one. This is like the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. This stuff smells like straight up motor oil. It's about three quarters of the way full. I do one pump of this to a squirt of that or two pumps of this to a squirt of that, either way. Um, and I, I usually do like a two to one ratio with this and it's a nice mix in lotion um, and it doesn't irritate my dry skin. Then we have the Love Beauty and Planet. I bought this because I have the shampoo and conditioner and one of their styling products in the Smooth and Serene line. This is their lavender fragrance. And it's about right here. Now it's got some stuff on the, the tube, but it's about right here. This is actually a very sticky lotion. I put it on and then I wait and let it dry and it stays tacky on the skin. That's the only reason why I don't use it more. Now I can put this on and then put like this one over it or put this one over it and it, it calms down the stickiness. But this is like something you would use before bed and then go get in bed and then your sheets are stuck to your butt all night. Uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but because it's brand new and whatnot, I'm going to keep it. But um, it's not my favorite. I love the fragrance of it. Don't get me wrong. I'd like a perfume in this one as well. But the stickiness of it, I just can't, I can't get over so all in all, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to sell. Oh, and this here, um, it's completely dry on my hand. There's like, the glitter is like stuck there. And if you try and like, trying to rub the glitter off my hand, and the glitter isn't gonna show up, but trying to rub, and it, there's like a little bit of a pink hue to my skin, but trying to rub the glitter off my hand with that, where I put it, uh, with that gel stuff, it didn't move. And it does still smell like, um, uh, Jolly Ranger. It smells like, actually it smells like a watermelon Jolly Ranger. It doesn't even smell like strawberry. And then I got rid of quite a few in the trash can. So I'm going to put all this stuff back in my bathroom cabinet and clean my counter off and prepare to wash makeup brushes next. So hopefully you guys enjoy these declutter videos. And I, like I said, I have two more to do. I've got bath products, which is like uh, body like washes which I don't really use um, I have some bath fuzzy thingies that you toss in and they bubble um, I've got some like scrubs and some salts and things like that that I need to go through and figure out what I need to keep and declutter and then I've got like uh, sunscreens and whatnot that I need to go through some of them are quite old so anyways uh, hopefully this is helpful for somebody if you want any of the items that I'm gonna get rid of then let me know um, like I said, with the real-time pain relief stuff, if you are interested in those, just pay for shipping and um, I will be more than happy to mail them to you. Uh, everything that I say that I'm going to be selling, I will be listing them on my website and then when I get time, I will be listing them on Depop. So uh, thank you for anybody who's willing to purchase any of my stuff. Um, you guys, if you if watched this far, you know how anal and I am about how clean things are. And so I'm very picky about how clean my products are. I don't like it when things get smeared on other products, it drives me insane. Um, so I try and keep products as clean as possible because that's just, I'm a neat freak and OCD. So anyways, I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. Bye.